Welcome to today's showcase post, where I'll share my finished Warcry Cas Legionnaires, chat about their rules, and share my recipes in a painting guide. This eight-man warband represents some of Belakor's mortal troops in the Age of Sigma setting. The warband consists of a leader named a Decuriarch, a berserker called a Mutandor with Beast Spear, three bulwarks called Horn Shields, and three brutes called Hornhelms. Whilst the warband is small due to its increased points cost, each model is tough and robust with a better wounds and toughness than your average fighter. The Decuriarch and the Horn Shields are toughness 5, whilst the rest of the warband is still a mighty toughness 4. Not a particularly fast warband with everyone moving 4 inches, however the Mutandor does get a bump up to 5 inch, and his triple ability really helps out giving the warband some speed. More on that in a bit. The Kaz Legionnaire's new reaction rule will help a little with the slow movement. When an enemy finishes an action within 3 inches of one of your fighters, you can choose another one of your fighters within 3 inches of your first fighter to get a free move action. This bonus move means that you'll be able to get your fighters into combat and have two actions for attacks. It does mean you'll have to group your fighters together and keep them close. Each fighter has three attacks per action, with the exception being the Decoriarch and the Horn Shield with Sword. With the minimum strength of the attacks in the Warband being four, but models armed with axes or, or a Beast Spear are an impressive strength five. The Cast Legionnaire's abilities are brutal and all about dishing out more damage or attacks. Double Shield Ram allows your Decoriarch and Horn Shields to inflict damage just by finishing a move next to an enemy. This could be coupled with that reaction mentioned earlier. Double Dark Pact is your leader's 12 inch ranged attack. Using the value of the ability, you roll a number of dice. Each 3 plus inflicts 1 damage on an enemy. However, your leader takes D3 damage as well. Double Brutal Swing gives your Brutes more damage points for their attacks. Half the value of the double, so a double 6 would add plus 3 damage to a Hornhelm with Steel by Axe, making him damage 5 slash 9. Amazing for a 125 point fighter using just the double. Triple Headlong Charge is for the Mutandor, who is within 2 inch and gets a bonus attack if they already made 2 move actions. This means you can move 10 inches and still attack. The Decuriarch also gets a triple called the True Master's Favour. If your fighter has taken down an enemy this activation, until the end of the battle, you get to add 1 to all the attacks of your fighters within 9 inches of your leader. Finally, we get to the quad. Wrath of the First Prince, which gives you a bonus attack action. It also takes the value of the quad and halves the number, this number is how many hits become criticals, so a quad of sixes will mean three of your hits will be criticals. That's potentially huge amounts of damage from a single attack. To finish off with, here is my Cas Legionnaire's painting guide. It's pretty simple. The hardest part though is painting all the studs on the brigadine, the padded tunic. For the metals, start with a lead belcher base coat. Then apply a Nuln Oil Wash and then Runefang Steel Edge Highlight. For the gold, start off with a Skull Crusher Brass Base Coat, followed by a Reekland Flesh Shade Wash with a Canoptic Alloy Edge Highlight. For the Padded Tunic, do a Screamer Pink Base Coat, followed by a Drucky Violet Wash. Once that's dry, apply a Nuln Oil Wash. And then finally, some thin highlights of Bugman's Glow. The leather clothes and straps are base coated with Mornfang Brown and then washed with Garagax Sewer. Scrag Brown is used to edge highlight. The black leather is a rust grey base coat and then Basilicanum Grey wash is applied all over. Return to rust grey and use it to edge highlight. The bone horns are painted with a Screaming Skull base coat. A Skeleton Horde wash is applied. And then starting at the tip, apply Gore Grunter fur lines. 
then within those lines apply wild wood lines going downwards. Finally, use wraith bone to add lines going upwards. Check out the picture to see how that looks. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe if you're interested and check out the links in my description for my range of hobby products. Thanks and bye for now.